Welcome, I'm Bernice Ross. I'm here with my longtime friend, Connie Myers. She is a crisis management strategist. You've worked at FEMA, you've been intimately involved in helping people post-hurricane, post-disasters, but you're gonna be taking it down to the neighborhood level today about what actual agents can do to be the hero in their neighborhood. So, how do I go about doing that? I mean, talk about a great way to get business, you know? Well, it, it, it is a great way to get business, but you don't want to do it from, a, I have, they're going to get more business. That would not be very authentic, right? However, if you become the hero in your community, and you help people, no matter whether it's a natural disaster, or a man-made disaster, or some other type of crisis that happens in your neighborhood, and you find ways to support the real estate community, and, and go out and be the hero for the buyers, the sellers, the business owners, and you show them how to move forward, that makes you a hero. And it makes you better under, better known, it, so it's gonna improve your business, but also it's gonna make you appear to be the real, true, authentic, wonderful person that gives back. And that's really the secret. So give me some examples of what you've seen people do in the past, of how they have pitched in post-disaster or they've done something to become the hero or heroine of their neighborhood. Well, a lot of people go out and they put together drives, but I say take it one step further. So if there is a need for FEMA or there's a need for uh, insurance claims or there is a need for um, special emergency planning um, forms to be filled out, maybe it's nonprofits, that sort of thing, Step in and ask, and ask if you can help, because that is that gives you one-on-one -on -one time. It's not just putting together a food drive or a clothes drive, which is wonderful. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, uh, and find ways of maybe putting together special projects for your community, such as putting together emergency kits for maybe kids that don't have have the opportunity to be able to do that. Maybe don't have the resources for it. Just look for ways that you can become one-on-one -on -one with the community and the people in it. Go to businesses, ask them what they need. Businesses, a lot of times get hurt and there's not the same amount of help available to them. So find out what you can do to maybe help them. Well, Connie, those are great tips. I love the tip that you gave about creating the backpacks to help kids because that's something you get people involved in and then you get the one-on-one -on -one distribution. And again, when you give to someone in one place, it comes back to you elsewhere. Well, it also encourages, so if you are helping kids get kits, just maybe the parents will say, you know, maybe I should have a kit too. <laughs> and, that's and, there, and there you've got the lead. So <laughs> that's a, Tom, Connie, that's a great way to end. Okay. Thank you for being with us today. We've been visiting with Connie Meyer. She Thank is you. a crisis management strategist, and now you see why. Thanks again, <laughs> Thank Connie. <you>. Alrighty. <laughs>